At this point, a normal person would get the fuck out of here. But this idiot does- Oh my god, my hands are so sweaty right now. Decapitated people. And you are not going home. Are you kidding me right now, you idiot? Oh my god, heads just... What normal person does this? Oh my god. Great, we've got like a Vlad the Impaler thing going here. Ah, fucking shit. Oh my god, my hands are literally dripping in sweat right now. Welcome, Kumas, to another Horror Let's Play! You're here with Kuma! As you can see, we are finally at Outlast. We have survived Amnesia, we have survived Resident Evil 7, and we have survived Outlast 2, and of course we are now at Outlast, because apparently Outlast is more scary than Outlast 2. And apparently it's gonna fill in the gaps of Outlast 2. So, I'm going into this blind, having no idea what to expect, but let's just see how it goes, and we'll judge it for what it is. What the hell? Normal, hard, nightmare, insane. Let's just go with normal for this one. Outlast contains intense violence, gore, graphic sexual content, and strong language. Please enjoy! <laughs> it, it, it seems to be a thing with the Outlast games. And if it's anything like Outlast 2, we're in for one hell of a ride. You are Miles Oopsa, an investigative reporter whose ambition is about to earn him an intimate tour of Hell on Earth. Always willing to risk digging into the stories no other journalist would dare investigate, you will seek out the dark secret at the heart of Mount Massive Asylum. Stay alive as long as you can, record everything. You are not a fighter. To navigate the horrors of Mount Massive and expose the truth, your only choices are to run, hide, or die. Hmm. The latter doesn't sound very appealing. And we'll just jump straight into the game. Okay. Okay. Uh... Uh oh. Oh, 107.9 FM. Never heard of this before. <laughs> Press pass. Wait, we're going to an asylum, like an insane asylum. That's. Ugh. Static is never good. That reminds me of the Silent Hill. Mount Massive Asylum. Oh yeah, that is always nice. He wants to bet that the gate is going to slam behind us. I'm sounding a little bit like a jerk right now, but this is usually what I do. It stops me from being scared as long as possible. Ooh, confidential. September 17, 2013. Uh-huh. Tip illegal activity at Murkov Psychiatric Systems. You don't know me. Have to make this quick. There might be monitoring. I did two weeks of software consult at Murkov Psychiatric Systems facilities in Mount Massive. All sorts of NDAs. I am very much breaking right now, but seriously, fuck those guys. Terrible things happening there. Don't understand it. Don't believe half the things I saw. Doctors talking about dream therapy going too deep, finding something that had been waiting for them in the mountain. People are being hurt and Murkov is making money. It needs to be exposed. Well, this guy obviously doesn't understand basic grammar, but okay. Oh, great. Batteries and camera again. Yeah, yeah. Okay, that's my name. That's night vision. Okay, I'm gonna roll up my sleeve just so it doesn't get caught on anything. No one's in my room, luckily. <laughs> no, oh shit. Objectives are in your reporter's notebook tab containing your notes N and pick up documents J. As you can see, it just closed behind us. Is there anything around the car? Yep, alright, same controls as the original. What, what do you mean I can't go in? There's a perfectly open door here. Oh, we can. Okay. 
What's this password? Of course we don't have a password. It's not like we could just boot up a different OS and just access all the files on the thing anyway, huh? No, that only worked in high school. To open doors quickly, press left mouse button. To open a door slowly, hold the left mouse button. So if I just click it, you call that quick? I would have I just kicked it. Oh god. It even has the same sound. Okay, notes. Right? Notes? I start feeling sick just looking at this place. Mount Massive Asylum. Shut down amid scandal and government secrecy in 1971. Reopened by Murkoff Psychiatric Systems in 2009 under the guise of a charitable organization. Since when have psychiatric places been charitable organizations? Okay, that's probably for tax purposes. Cell phone reception cut off abruptly a mile out. More like a jammer than lost signal. Yeah, because that is comforting. The Murkoff Corporation has a long track record of disguising profit as charity. But never, Amer but never on American soil. Whatever they thought they could get out of this place has to be big. Might finally be the story that breaks the bastards. So, you're suspecting an international organization is, uh, doing psychiatric experiments, you know, for tax fraud, obviously, and they've got a telephone jammer and you're just going in this place without anyone knowing what you're doing. Nice work. Wait. Oh, wow, I like how this thing pauses. Look at the top left. It pauses. See? I stopped it at a 20. Starts at 20. Yeah, so it tracks our recording. That's pretty cool. What's this? Is this a military van? Okay, so this is him running. This sounds like a jammer. What the hell? So there's these massive things here, and you're not even asking questions. Oh, of course. We can only sneak in here. I'm guessing the front gate's closed. Wait, are you even invited to go here? Can you even go to the front door? So you're just gonna sneak into an insane asylum. Run by a company that's obviously doing illegal shit. Wow. Wow, this is... Okay, then. This is definitely not an accident waiting to happen. And by accident, I mean, you know, murder. Jesus. Yeah, yeah, this is this is not at all a bad idea. Like, well, unlike the original uh, Outlast 2, it's not... It usually tells me once... What, what? With a camera recorder, you can zoom in and out with the scroll. Okay. Well, there's lights on. That means there's people inside, right? Or is this just the outdoor light? Now, the real question is, can we climb up the stairs? the hell? Probably can. And here comes the creepy music. <laughs> to jump over a gap space bar while moving forward. Yeah. Cool. Now let's do the Assassin's Creed. Yeah. Let's hope crazy people can't do that. Man, this guy's just sneaking into an insane asylum. You're nuts, man. But... Whoa! How convenient! Ah, oh, come on. This is pretty creepy right now. Yeah, yeah, the horror part of the game just started. Great. All right, well, this is what you guys are watching for. Me being a little girl. <laughs> Shit, I just heard a sound. Fucking hell, I hate this. What the fuck was that sound? Are oh, they not gonna scare me this early, are they? Sure, hope not. My hands are sweaty. Mom's spaghetti. Oh, here's the rapist priest from the second game. Whoops. Spoiler alert. 
<laughs> yeah. Uh, if you haven't watched the second game, forget about that. My doors are a cl um, The weird thing is, there's like a door. What was that? What the hell was that? I was just saying that the like bathroom door here in my room sometimes opens because the like uh, the handle's like old, so it's like become loose. So sometimes it opens. But fuck, man, what the hell was that? Fuck, man. Oh, fuck. I'm already getting creeped out and my hands are sweating. Fucking hell, I hate this game already. Oh my god. Oh, great. Everyone's, like, keeping batteries lying around. Well, they're, like, triple-A batteries, so that I can understand. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> this is definitely not a bad sign. Is he recording this now? Obviously not. Oh, fuck. Every door I open makes me shit myself. Oh, yeah. Jay. Murkoff psychiatric, uh, psychiatric Systems. Uh, patient WHP Billet. Initial date 2009. Patient 19, male. Uh, observing physician Dr. Carl Houston. Uh, therapy status. Patient claims to have progressed to self directed lucid dream states. Morphogenic engine activity observed at unprecedented scale. Continuing to stage 4 hormone schedule. Diagnosis. Spirometry revealed no bronchidal accumulation. Hematocrit centrifuge again failed to separate erythrostes. Highly worrisome. MRI revealed arithmetic REM NRM cycle laughter in REM state. Interview notes. Billy asked about the status of his mother's lawsuit against Murkov and the asylum. This represents a catastrophic breach in security. Despite Billy's claims that he discovered the truth in the blood dreams of Dr. Trager, note the only Trager on company records, one Richard Trager, is an executive from MRD. All other lies and security personnel must be questioned and video security improved to include analytical biometrics. Murkov Psychiatric Systems Project Walder Massive Co. I don't understand the medical part of this. Is there someone here that understands this? That studies medicine or watches a little too many medical shows? I don't understand all this. Could someone translate this into plain English, please? Uh, and just put like a timestamp too on your comments so I can sort of scroll to that part of the video. But it seems that Billy's mother is suing the company for something. So that they need to update security. Okay. Well, why is there so much blood here? Okay. Of course, we can't go in there. So scary. Ah! What the hell? Oh, that's not good. That is never good. Man, that's pretty scary. Oh yeah, there's just blood coming from upstairs. Reach the event. Oh yeah, let's just... Oh yeah, spider webs. Let, 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 let's just go deeper into this shit. Cause this is not a bad sign at all. There's blood. What the hell was that? 
You guys just saw that random guy just walk in and close the door, right? Okay, yeah, let's just let's just investigate more. There's there, there's blood dripping from upstairs. There's there's like dream. What the hell? Wait, don't tell me the patients of this insane asylum are running loose. That would explain why there's so many barricades made of furniture and all the blood everywhere. But why the hell am I going deeper into this place? I'm not able to go back up. Oh yeah, I am. Well, it's okay. Let go. Let go! Yeah. Okay, can't let go. Asshole. I hope the patience of this insane asylum is still locked in their cages. It would be bad if they're not. What's this? Chapel, recreation hall, library, lobby. Oh yeah, chapel. And there's a massive cage. Well, that's probably for security. And there's a body. Great. Just great. And of course, this being America, there's absolutely no guns in this game. Why not? <laughs> oh, my neck! What the hell was that? At this point, a normal person would get the fuck out of here. But this idiot does- Oh my god, my hands are so sweaty right now. Decapitated people. And you are not going home. Are you kidding me right now, you idiot? Oh my god, heads just- What normal person does this? Oh my god. Great, we've got like a Vlad the Impaler thing going here. Ah, fucking shit. Oh my god, my hands are literally dripping in sweat right now. Oh, fuck! They killed us. You caught out. The Varies. You can't fight them. You have to hide. You can unlock the main doors. From security control. You have to get the fuck out of this terrible place. Yes. And a normal person at this point. Oh yeah, there's just the torso cut up. A normal person at this point would get the fuck out. Notes. I'm inside. I'm inside, bodies everywhere. Blood, burn marks. Heads lined up like bottles behind a bar. Dead Murkov scientist uh, hung from the ceiling. Their badges say Murkov Advanced Research Systems. Murkov's longtime MO has been to profit off the exploitation of supposed charity. Fuck the third world and bankroll another billion. How did Murkov think they would make money off a building full of crazy people? We'll almost probably do an experimentation on them. There's some kind of tactical cop pinned like a pig on a spit. Tells me to get the fuck out and then dies. Would have been a good thing to hear when I could still leave the way I came. Ah, oh, so he can't go back the way he came because the crazy person locked the door. Well, that's what happened for you being an idiot. Great, we've got the whole Vlad the Impaler vibe going. Oh my god, I, I'm, I'm shit my life right now. What the hell was that? Fuck my life. Fuck my life. Why is it so quiet? It's never good when it's too quiet. Oh my god. Oh. I don't like this. Why is this dark even when I'm walking? What kind of night- Oh yeah, this night vision's broken, probably. 
Wait, so this stupid thing works. Without batteries, it's just that the night vision sucks. Screw you. Oh. Okay, okay, I should be okay. Oh, 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 what the fuck? What the hell? What? Who are you then? What the hell? I I see. Merciful God, you have sent me an apostle. Guard your oh life. Oh God, not this again. You have a calling. Another religious nut. Great. Seems to be an ongoing theme with this series. I have a calling. My calling is to get the fuck out of here, that's what. New objective, escape the asylum. Access security control to unlock the main doors. Oh, he didn't even take my camera away. But there's gutted people here. And top, uh, headless. Well, that's great. Proclaim the gospel. Why is it, why is it always religion and crazy people? Why can't it... And deadline. Great. That's always great. Okay, Jay. What's this? Murkoff office. In the matter of the seizure of Mount Massive Psychiatric Center. Da da da. Uh, for David's having been made before the board of directors by Murkoff Headline Security. Uh, MHS, who has reason to believe catastrophic security failure of psychiatric sensor with immediate danger of environment contamination. We are satisfied that the affidavits and testimonies establish sufficient evidence to require urgent action on the part of MHS and grounds for the insurance of this warrant. You are hereby required to grant MHS full access to all facilities and surrender complete authority to its agents. By acceptance of this document, you and any surviving relatives surrender all claims of litigation against the Murkov Corp or its subsidiaries for the actions of MHS or the circumstances which require their action, regardless of responsibility. What? Uh, okay. So MHS is some sort of military or security place? What the hell? I just reloaded the battery and it hasn't improved the thing at all. Well, that's not good. Yeah. What the hell? That's a big truck. Okay, that's another battery. No document here. Oh yeah, we get to hide from crazy people. Oh yeah, I'm in a horror game again. Yeah, thanks guys. Thanks guys. <laughs> My least favorite genre. Horror. And here I am yet again. Thanks guys. Ah. Uh, ah. Uh. Love how not a single computer is logged in. Man, this is not gonna end. Oh my god, another pool of blood. Great. Oh god. Hmm? 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 Oh, another document. What's this? Uh, psychiatric systems, observation... Rudolf Wrinkle. Sounds like a Nazi. Uh, therapy status. Morphogenic engine activity plagated at roughly 2000 ppm. Unsafe to progress beyond stage 3 hormone schedule. Horm hormone schedule. Okay. Diagnostics. Uh, spherometry revealed light to medium bronchial accumulation. MRI scans consist with patients reported dreams. Okay, interview notes. Walker was interviewed in restraints following his self-inflicted mutilations. Restraints have to be altered to accommodate his enormous size. 
That sounds comforting. Extensive dermal eruptions and consistence with failed morphogenic engine cellular activity. He claims the skin ripped from his forehead allows for a truer way of seeing. He seems to have some boyhood experience with Tortara lizards and their parietal eyes. He has expressed anxiety about his flesh, specifically around his lips and nose. Attending order orderlies should be advised to watch for further self-mutilation. The mental traumas he sustained while serving in Afghanistan seem to be retarding progression of the ME process. His predominant fixation amplified by therapy is a manic exaggeration of military security protocol. A continuation of both chemical and physical restraints is highly recommended. Well, this guy sounds like a handful. I hope I do not come into contact with him. He's a fucking war veteran. What? I hope he's dead. Please no jump scare. Did he just move? Oh shit. Ow. Please don't attack me. Hello, sir. Oh, shit. He's missing his eyes, his nose, and parts of his mouth. He's malnourished, and I doubt he will attack me. I hope he doesn't attack me. Ah, what the fuck? Um, what? So what does this mean? Broken man and the dead television. A ground of broken men watching a dead channel. They look like patients. They survived whatever happened here, but nobody's home. So what happens if we talk to them? Um... Hello? Why? Oh my god, the music is just creepy on its own. So not all of these people are violent. Some of them are just... Um... Stop the music. Thank you. Please don't, please don't, please don't, please don't, please don't, please don't. Why am I here again? Another dead lion, but we have a key card. What key card is this? Ugh. Objectives are updated. Uh, escape the asylum, access security controls to the main doors. Screw you. My god, this is... Of course, that works with an actual key. Please, good sirs, do not give a shit about me. I am... This is... This, uh, is this a message about contemporary society? About mindlessly watching television or something? Holy shit! 
Holy shit! Okay then. Better scratch my face now before something gets me. Don't touch me! Don't- ah! Oh shit! Get him out! Please! The guns are in here! Get off me! Oh my god! How did I know that was gonna happen? Fuck sake. <laughs> Fucking knew it. But it still got me. Shut up. Fucking loud scares and jumpy music. What the hell is going on here? That's a screensaver. That means it's logged in. Screensaver means it's logged in. Great, and I can't access the one that's logged in. Clearly. Oh. How do I save this game? Oh, save and exit. Oh, that's nice. God damn it. What the hell? I thought this was logged out before. Someone's been here. Well, I'm definitely not going down there. Fuck that. You can look behind you while doing that by run. Oh, yeah! Well, that's security room is that way. Electronics room is downstairs. Great. Look at. Ah! That's the only place we can go. Great. Crazy people, crazy people. Cr fuck my life right now. <laughs> fuck, my neck already hurts. Oh. <sighs> Why am I exploring every single one of these fucking things? Fucking investigative journalism. Ah! Witness why? Oh, great. I, I got more notes. Well, we're uncovering the mystery. The witness. I'm already beat at to hell. Picking broken glass out of my scalp. Couple cracked ribs, nearly killed by a deformed giant. Looks like someone tried to fuck start his head with a cheese grater. He throws me through a wall, knocks me unconscious. I wake up and some doughy old man with a face like an alcoholic kitty fiddler in a homemade priest outfit calls me his apostle. Not a job I asked for. There are words scrawled in blood everywhere. I'm getting an ugly feeling in my gut that the priest is writing them and for my benefit. Witness. Witness what? For my benefit? What does he want me to do? There's some fucked up odd, that's for sure. Oh my god, something's gonna jump scare me soon. I can feel it. Oh, that's the security room. Close the fucking door. Can I lock it? Oh, this looks like where you keep guns. No guns. I thought security rooms usually had guns. They lie. Who lies? Lovely, this looks like it's looking downstairs. What's this? Uh, trucks. Cameras. Hmm. How comforting that I cannot call for help. I love how the journalist just knows how to use the computers. Oh, what the fuck? Why is he looking at the camera? Ah, oh, son of a bitch. Fuck. 
fucking hell. What the fuck? So he just opened up the security door. Oh shit. Well, go away, good sir. How come that is not a note? Documents? I, I could have sworn I just got a note. Restart the generator in the basement. Huh. Yeah, that's... That is... Yeah. Doesn't seem like a trap at all. It seems like a priest dude... So that's why they taught us how to run. Fuck's sake. Please don't. Please don't. Please don't. I'm a peaceful man. I'm an unbelievably peaceful man. CIA. So the CIA was involved in this. Great. On Wednesday, 10th February 1954, hypnotic experimentation and research work was continued in building 13 of the Mount Massive Preserve in Colorado using the following subjects. Material abridged. A post-hypnotic of the night before pointed finger you will sleep when enacted. Mrs. Jackson and Pierce immediately progressed to a deep hypnotic state with no further suggestion. Miss Pierce was then instructed, having previously expressed a fear of firearms in any fashion, that she would use every method at her disposal to awaken Miss Jackson, now in a deep hypnotic sleep. And failing this, she would pick up a nearby pistol and fire at Miss Jackson. She was instructed that her range would be so great that she would not hesitate to kill Jackson for failing to awaken. Charming. Miss Pierce carried out these suggestions to the letter, including firing the unloaded phenomatic pistol, a gun at Jackson, and then proceeding to fall into a deep sleep. After proper suggestions were made, both were awakened and expressed complete amnesia for the entire sequence. Miss Pierce was again handed the gun, which she refused in an awakened state to pick up or accept from the operator. She expressed absolute denial that the foregoing sequence had happened. So they're using hypnotic suggestion. Not just hypnotic suggestion, but like... I'm... I don't even know whether or not this stuff is possible in real life. But does it really matter at this point? Because it seems that... Oh, okay, cool. To vault plus spacebar while moving towards high waisted objects. I'm scared. Who's, who's there? Please don't scare me. Ow. Oh crap. Might as well explore the room. Oh god, there's plenty of doors. Why is there this music playing?
turn on the two gas pumps and the main breaker to restart the generator. Uh, how do I turn on the gas pumps? Great, amnesia style. This is the gas pump? Nope. Fuck. Probably behind the doors. I hate my life right now. Hopefully no one heard that. Ugh. Fuck, I'm hiding. I heard someone walking. That big asshole just came in, didn't he? I can hear him. Shit. Fuck, I knew it. Fuck, why is he always opening the one next to me? Don't open this one, you asshole. Hell. But he's in the room now, like outside. Fucking hell. Oh crap! What the hell is that? Tell me that he can't see me, please, for the fuck. Stupid fucking alarm, go away. Fuck! Huh? Okay, what the... Just kill me, you asshole! So, he's semi-blind, and he hears me when I walk. Gotcha. What the hell's this? Oh great, we start here. Who's there? Right, so he hears me when I walk. So as long as I don't walk, I'm good. Gotcha. Gotcha. Don't walk. Walking equal bad, right? Right. Alright. I got a plan. We're not gonna walk. He's semi-blind, so he can only hear us when we walk in the water. Mm. We should be okay. I hope. If my theory is correct, because he didn't see me when we locked eyes with him, but he heard me when I walked in the water. So he's gonna come in now, check and he's gonna go inside that room. Apparently from the previous comment section below, 
When this game was made, it was made by about eight or nine creators that left a big AAA company. And this was their first title. So, yeah. Similar thing with Amnesia, apparently. They didn't have a very big production team, but they did a very good job. But I'm getting good Amnesia vibes on this. Except you don't go insane when you see the guy, you just get freaked out. Why do I hear his footsteps really close? Why is he in the room? Shouldn't he leave by now? Okay, now we're in the water. Yeah, water's gone. What the hell? What's that noise? Why is it shaking? Don't tell me that's the big guy. Oh crap. Why is he coming back here? Why is he coming back here? What the hell? Okay, I heard him walk away. One Mississippi. Two Mississippi. Three Mississippis. Four Mississippi. Five Mississippi. He just went in there. Who is that? Uh oh. Piece of shit. Where the fuck is that thing? Turn it on. He's probably gonna come in here. Yep. I hear the music. He's gonna come and check on it. And then leave. Right?
Right? I hear footsteps. I can hear footsteps. That, that. Mm. You'll open the one next to me and leave. Right? Right? And he goes away. Oh, thank God. Fuck. <laughs> shit. You saw how I shit myself running away, right? Fuck. Fuck. All right. Please don't be here, you asshole. I don't know where he is, though. There he is. Don't come this way. Run, 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 run. Run, 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 run. <laughs> Please don't come here. Because I just activated all of them. And then I just gotta hit the thing and it works. We start the generator, yeah. As long as he doesn't come here, we're good. Because we can just go click and then run like fuck. If I can remember how to run away from the generator. Ah. Oh my god. I hate this cat and mouse bullshit. I'm burning so many calories just playing this. Fuck. It's such a simple concept. What do you mean? Okay. Illuminated, bitch. I'm out of here. Ah, uh, which way? Uh oh, I'm lost again. Fuck my life, I forgot which way to go. It was this way, right? Oh yeah. I never liked this place anyway. Oh yeah, now into the hallway with the big fucker. Fuck it, I'm running. 
Oh great, the door's dead. <laughs> oh come on! And I'm just getting date raped again. I'm sorry, my son. I didn't want to have to do this to you. But you can't leave. Not yet. Ah, not much yet for you to witness. Will you see it? Can you? Our Lord, the Wall Rider, tearing his truth into the unbelievable. What the fuck? The only way out of this place is the truth. Accept the gospel, and all doors will open before you. What the hell was that? So they just sent in a SWAT team that got slaughtered by something. Well, screw having a gun, apparently it doesn't work. What the hell just happened? Don't tell me I'm in prison again. Yeah, I'm in prison again. It's because I'm Serbian, isn't it? Wait, this is worse than prison. This is an as insane asylum. Ah, shit. We don't even get gym, do we? But of course, I get my camera. I wonder if there's any porn on it. What the fuck? What the fuck? Remember that notes are only added to your notebook when your camcorder is raised to record events. <clears throat> Day three. I am in a fucking psych ward. Rest in peace. Shit. Notes. Father Martin's cell. The priest, Father Martin, brought me here to show me something. Thinks I'm going to be a witness for whatever batshit crazy he's trying to sell me. This Dr. Wernrick is at the center of whatever went wrong here. But he died more than 10 years ago. Rest in peace, says the blood on the wall. How do you even know this guy's name? I do not know what to... Holy crap. Wait, can we hide under things in this game? Of course not. Oh wait, we can. I am hiding here. <laughs> Hopefully he thinks I'm dead. I am saving the game here. Yes. Well. We can definitely see where some elements from Outlast 2 have come from, and the concept itself is frightening enough. It's similar to Amnesia in that. <laughs> Shit. Shit. I, I I need to take a break. I, I can't do this for very long because it's just draining and I need the bathroom and I need water and I need all this. So I hope you enjoyed it. And as I'm always saying, hit that like button and hit me up in the comment section of what you think. Now if you have any tips for this game, please let me know in the comment section below. Spoiler free of course, because I am playing on a week by week basis until we can eventually live stream. <laughs> so yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Such a simple concept, right? There's three rooms, so it's like a triangular thing, right? One, two, three, and the thing in the middle. And all you gotta do is avoid this guy that's running around. But, it's scarier than you would think. Like, I don't know. If you haven't played it, I recommend you try playing it. You'll see exactly what I mean. It's scary when it's like, oh my god, he's onto me. Like, it is. Anyway, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Be sure to share with one friend. And until next time, Nijikuma out. Bye! At this point, a normal person would get the fuck out of here. But this idiot does- Oh my god, my hands are so sweaty right now. Decapitated people. And you are not going home. Are you kidding me right now, you idiot?